Hey, what's happening gamers? It's KY here. Hope everyone's day is going great today. And today we are going to be playing some Fortnite and you can thank my husband Luke for the awesome thumbnail today because he made that and I think it looks super cute. Lots of pink, which I love. And um, Luke was just telling me about this character, uh, Claire, who is a fan favorite of the Resident Evil series and kind of a girl next door personality and uh never actually officially got together with leon but um uh, people did ship them a lot so <laughs> she seems very sweet and then um luke already showcased leon and claire before but they look pretty cool in this i mean they look like fortnite characters but um yeah so i'll be playing as claire a little bit today and maybe some other characters um, so yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well and uh, I'm excited to um, All you guys have to do is uh, friend K-Wing space reviews if you guys want to join in Okay, And it says I'm playing publicly so awesome. So we're all set Okay guys and gals. Um, so it uh, looks like we got dozen R here. Awesome Yeah <laughs> So, uh, uh, yeah, if you guys want to add me, it'll be hard for me to type everything, um, in if you, I mean, I don't know if I can type in everyone's name. I can try to in Fortnite. I don't know how many spots he has left, but if you guys send me a friend request, um, I probably will be able to, um, add you guys. So I'll wait, uh, a little bit, and if I'm not able to do it, um, Okay, if nobody comes in in a few minutes, you guys can, you'd have to give me your, um, Fortnite name in the chat if you wanted me to try to add you. Okay, guys, so I guess we'll just go with me and Dozen R for now, and then, um, we'll try to get some other people in here afterwards. So we're gonna do Team Rumble and run around, so great to see you, Dozen R. Enjoying it. By enjoying, uh, he actually took down the robe that was hanging up in his room because it looked the same size as one of the monsters or like dead people in Resident Evil and he couldn't sleep with that robe next to him in his bedroom because it freaked him out so much. So by jo enjoying it, uh, basically he, you know, had a ton of, um, nightmares. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually had a weird dream today about, like, some flowers. People were making some flowers in a cave and, um, basically, um, like, arranging these flowers in this cave. And I was somehow growing these flowers on, like, this blanket or, like, uh, or, like, a, a mesh, like, tarp or something. And I was going to put the, the flowers in the cave also. I don't know. I don't know what was going on with my dream, but interesting I definitely had other people in my dream but I don't really know exactly who they were uh. and I have the Captain America thing on the back of me um, and I am playing on the Luke's account guys because I'm playing on PlayStation I don't really have a uh... oops oops What? I got some kind of I got some kind of award for that. Um, okay. All right, Papa's crew. So, I will be adding you, buddy, after this. So, um, thank you for being patient. Oh, my friend, thank you so much. And, uh, thank you for hanging out, uh, Dozen R. Yep, and guys and gals, remember, like, I don't, I, um, I was on the other side of the, the, um, I was on the other side, so I wasn't actually able to be near my computer at the very beginning, so, um, I'm just kind of hanging out, not always, uh, not always super near the computer, so, you know, I can see your messages. Hi, uh, a Crossfighter. Hi, everyone. Hi, Tom. You're awesome, Tom. Mm. Yeah, but I know, um, you guys, K 
can't have like every game downloaded. Um, you guys can have certain games. But yeah, if you guys are ever wondering, Fortnite is actually free to download. Um, you can, you know, it, it is, it is kind of like one of those things where, uh, you know what? Uh, okay. It, it's one of those things where, um, you know, if you do download it and you do have a credit card attached to it, it does get super tempting. Like, you know, you could really tempt yourself to buy more costumes and stuff like that. If you're trying to stay on a budget, then... Fortnite is one of those things that, like, you might accidentally... Not budget. <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah, I, I do like to um, level up Luke's Battle Pass once in a while now, because it's um, Um, then, uh, he doesn't have to, like, pay for his entire battle pass at the end of the, the season, so that's really good. I always get the season and chapter confused, but I think it's, like, the next, I think it's the next season. So, yeah, after Luke explained to me who, uh, Claire really is, that she's kind of, like, a sweet, uh, girl that people ship with Leon, uh, that's kind of that's kind of nice. Oh my gosh! Look at this. So interesting. This is like a uh, a uh, oh my gosh. It's a uh, a samurai armor, I think. Very cool. All right then. I guess we can get a car here. Oh, if I can uh, look at you in the game, it will explain how YouTube is for you right now. Okay, um, sure. Uh... Oh, hi, Desert Um, if I can look at you in the game, I see you. It's good for you? Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. I kind of see you had like a thumbs up thing going on. Oh man, I guess... This car is pretty loud. Hmm. So I think Luke was gonna hang out and maybe he was gonna um, get something to eat while I was uh, playing this, but I don't know if I, I can't really hear him very much. So maybe he went to take a nap? I don't know. Uh, yep. Stream times will change depending on uh, things that we were doing. Luke had a Nightwing 01 stream today, and uh, no, I'm recovering from surgery, so the stream times won't always be the same. He doesn't R. So I'm trying to figure out. Oh, doesn't R. He's face palming. Oh, that's funny. Okay, doesn't R. Did like a face palm. I get. I got you, doesn't R. Wow, I'm literally activating all of these things here. Um, when is Splatfest? It should be this weekend on Papa's Cruise. 
And um, I'm going to be nasty. Um, so I may do like um, I may do like a Splatfist thing. Um, like I may start uh, leveling up my teacher for Splatfest um, tomorrow or Friday. We'll see. So if I do it on Friday, then I just won't do, um, I just won't be on, uh, if I do it on Friday, I just won't be, uh, on, um, Mario Kart Fridays. I'll just do Splatoon instead. That's what I did last, uh, Splatfest, because I can't always do community streams, um, all week. Honestly, this, uh, Captain America thing does look really cool. I ran out of ammo so quickly, though, because I got, like rapid fire uh, thing over here. I'm out of ammo. I think that's what Luca called, titled one of his streams today, actually. I'm out of ammo. So yeah, Luca was able to find the pretty cute uh, picture um, of, of that uh, Fortnite emote girl with the pigtails. That was pretty cute. Man, I really thought Luke was in the kitchen, but I can't hear him at all. So he must be... I think he went to uh, eat upstairs. I think he got cereal. I think he's eating upstairs. Taking a small nap. Alright guys, so we're going to add Papa's Cruise um, after the end of this match. And we'll get Papa's Cruise in here. And then um, we'll get anyone else who is hanging out. Yeah, and last night I actually did, um, oh, there's Dozen R, and thank you so much for playing with me, Dozen R. Appreciate that so much. Oh, gosh, darn it. I don't even have, I don't even have any ammo. Darn it. Thank you, Dozen R, you avenged me. Luke is doing the Nightwing diet. That's right, Charles Demers. He's eating cereal. This is a cool area, though. I really do need some more ammo. I, have, I literally have one gun, and it's got 20 bullets in it. And uh, I guess I'm not supposed to say the word G-U-N on the air, because I'll get demonetized, but I have one firearm. I have one musket, and it has uh, 20 uh, magic uh, fire sticks in it. I do like uh, leveling up Luke's character, though. Then, then he's able to easily uh, showcase stuff, and it does look a lot clearer. I don't. I'm not really logged into my character on uh, on um, on PlayStation at all. I'm just logged in on Switch. All right, guys and gals. So let's actually add um, Papa's Cruise here. Sorry about that, Papa's Cruise. Um, let's add you. I think I added you, uh, Papa's Cruise. Alright, awesome! So Papa's Cruise is in here now. Excellent! So we've got Dozen R, Epic Eric, Geo's World, and hopefully we'll get Papa's Cruise in here pretty soon. Okay, awesome, Papa's Cruise! You're going to be an inkling for Smash Bros. in honor of Splatfest. Awesome, Later Gator. And I think Later Gator's, uh... I think Later Gator's birthday's coming up. Bar uh, April 4th, I think. Unless I'm, unless I'm wrong about that. Because it was March 4th and I got that wrong. Okay, um...
All right, so recent characters. So we could do a showcase of um, that the character that um, Geo is actually playing as, who is a uh, who is a character from uh, the the um, the ten dollar a month club. Uh, I keep forgetting what that club is called. The um, hmm, I... yeah, the thing that you pl play uh, pay ten dollars a month for. And I forgot what that's actually called. So yeah, they've got some cute um, characters. This character looks super cute. I like this character with the the, the haircut. It's kind of cute. Um, I really like this Rambo fish. I don't have this fish. It would be really cute to get that angry um, Rambo fish. Um, this girl's kind of interesting. She's kind of cute. She definitely has a lot of detail. I'm just trying to think of, she looks like she's partly for a snowy region, partly for a, uh, a hot region. So I don't really know what kind of area of the world she would be living in. Oh, I guess she would be like a, supposed to be like a, uh, primal hunter. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Uh, I guess she could look like, sort of like a viking, but she looks like a warrior person. She looks pretty cool, actually. Um, we've got this gooby guy. Looks pretty neat. <laughs> I don't know why he only has one boot on. Uh, pretty weird. And what is going on with this, like, turtle backpack? Really weird. And this girl, I've always kind of wanted to get her. I don't think I have her, but she does look really cute. Zuri. She's got, um, she looks like she is... I'm like I'm thinking of the song Kung Fu Fighting because I think she's like a fighter and she does uh, she does look like she's pretty cool. Got some cool moves there. Little wings. Um, she does look really cute actually. I love these little braids and uh, her um, just like all these little like details on her. Super cute. So all right well um, okay guys so I guess we'll just go for it. Um, I think we got Papa's Cruise in here now, and uh, we're just gonna get ready to go. Yeah, I'm gonna um, switch some emotes for uh, Claire. Cause I want her to have some cute emotes. Cute. Oh, that's kind of cute. She's got these little heart emotes. She could do the Kame or whatever. Oh, this is like the, uh, not Kamehameha. What am I thinking? Fusion Ha! Oops, I got that wrong. I have that really wrong. She looks like she's mixed with Overwatch, mixed with Mortal Kombat, says Charles Demers. Yeah, definitely. I like the uh, Kung Fu chick there. Alright, guys, we've got Dozen R's back, and we've got uh, Geo, Dozen R, Epic Eric, Papa's Cruise, and a bunch of you guys and gals. So awesome. And a wild Luke has appeared. I can kind of hear him in the background. I think he was focused on something, so. Mmm. Luke, Luke is quiet unless he has something to say. So he didn't have anything to say, which is why I didn't hear him. That makes sense. Oh, wow. The way that they have this world, it's completely tilted. Okay, and there's Geo's world, and he's got the cool um, character from... Oh, Epic Eric also has that cool character from the battle... Whatever the thing is you pay $10 a month for. I keep forgetting what that is. Mm -hmm. All right, and thank you, uh, Dozen R, for playing with me and everyone else. And uh, Papa's Cruise. 
um, Epic Eric, Geo's World, and um, everyone. And I hope you guys are having a great uh, day today, great Wednesday. Your birthday is not in April. Okay, all right, awesome. Well, sorry I got that wrong. May I may have gotten that wrong. Sorry about that later, Gator. I knew it was on a Saturday. March or April, so I, I must have already been in March, and I just forgot. Oops. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of this uh, weapon. Oh, okay, so going to these different locations is actually helping me level the battle pass up. Okay. Alright, so I'll get this. Yeah, I kind of messed up and I accidentally it overflowed a bit. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, 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 there's a lot of liquid on the stove, Luke is telling me, because I kind of messed up and it kind of overflowed when I was making ramen. By kind of, I mean I really messed up and it really overflowed. <laughs> there is paper in one of them, honey? Sorry about that. Okay, I will. I understand. Yoga flame. So I guess Claire has this, like, little knife with her. Um, I guess that might be, like, what she comes with, like, her little accessory. So that's probably what she has in the games or something like that. Ooh, look at a glowing chest, you guys. That must be interesting. See what's in here. This actually does look like the kind of weapon that they would have in Resident Evil, this little handgun. I mean, hand weapon. Hand musket. Honestly, I guess I'm waiting to be spewed up from here. Yeehaw! Cowabunga! Alright, looks like those geysers do work. Alright, well... Actually, I can use this. I can use my, uh... I can use my health thingy right here. Why not? How do I turn the copyrighted music off? I just press triangle. Um, I also... When I'm in a... When I'm in a uh, when I'm in a vehicle that's playing it, I just press triangle. Um, but um, you can do it in settings. Like, you can... Oh, thank you! Thank you, uh... Thank you, Epic Eric. Thank you so much. You can do it in settings. You can, um... You, there's, like, a setting for it. It'll say, in sound settings, it'll say, like, uh, music, and then you can just say, um, top all like copyrighted music off and then basically if there's an emote that plays that is copyrighted then the emote will just be silent but emotes that aren't copyrighted will not will not be silent like you can hear them
Oh, somebody at the school said Kirby is stupid? I'm sorry to hear that, Geo. That's not very nice. Yeah, I mean, I don't like it when, um, people, like, when I was out with my, uh, when I was out with my, uh, family, there was, like, somebody that was saying the movie 2001 was, like, a dumb movie that didn't make any sense. I got pretty triggered because 2001 is a pretty well-known movie, like, sci-fi movie. It's pretty cool. And I was pretty triggered because I thought, like, that's pretty weird that someone would just say that movie is not is just dumb and there's no point to it and then like somebody asked what the plot was I summed the plot up in like three seconds and then this other family member who shall not be named basically said you know like well there's more to it than that there's it starts out with a monkey and they started going into a detailed explanation I was a little bit triggered because number one I gave a summary which by definition means I did a short version so okay and then it's like, secondly, I don't know, I don't like it when people, like, take something like a well-known franchise like Kirby or the movie 2001 or, you know, Star Wars or something and then just basically say, oh, this is terrible and dumb and nobody likes it. Because obviously, huh? Yeah, it depends with Star Wars because some, some of the Star Wars movies are kind of bad. But, uh, but basically, like, you're basically saying, you're basically saying that a movie that made billions of dollars or a game character that has already made tons of money that lots of people love, that has made lots of games, you're saying that all the people that have bought Kirby games over the years are stupid and, you know, no one has ever liked Kirby and, you know, everyone doesn't know what they're talking about and Kirby's not creative, he's not fun. You know, like, how could you say that? There's so many Kirby games. And the same for, like, you know, sci-fi movies and stuff like that. Or other things. It's like, how... It's just a weird thing to say. It's not only... It's triggering... Not just because it's, like, an opinion. But you can't have... You really can't have the opinion that Kirby would be a bad character. Because how could you have that opinion? He's, like, literally created by Sakurai and Awada. Two of the most famous uh, game developers that have ever existed... And it, literally, his game just brings joy to everyone. You, you, it's not that you, it's not that you're wrong for having the opinion that Kirby's bad. It, you can't have the opinion that Kirby's bad. It's impossible. You'd have to, you know. It, it's just such a stupid thing to say. Yeah, I mean, what? <laughs> um. But anyway. But yeah, but anyway, yeah, I, I, I get, uh, I get, I get triggered as well when people, uh, you know, they, they make, like, a comment about, like, for instance, like, um, you know, and I used to be like that as well. Like, I used to say, well, nobody really knows what Power Rangers are and nobody, you know, because I didn't like Power Rangers. I didn't watch them. I didn't know what they were. I didn't grow up with them, so I didn't really, it wasn't very respectful to Power Rangers, and then when Luke actually explained to me what they were, then it's like, oh, okay, so this is like a beloved franchise that's been around forever and helps people to really feel like, like they're part of a team, and, you know, all the characters have different personalities, and they all, like, you know, transform into awesome suits and fight, you know, like, aliens, so this is actually pretty cool, so it, it's like... I don't know. I, I think, so I become, yeah, I just think, I guess people, people are going to say stuff. Um, yeah. So good job ignoring them, you know, but yeah, it is hard to, it is hard to just let things go because like, uh, because you know, they say something and it seems really kind of dumb, you know, at school or something, but you did a good job ignoring them. Um, you guys, so I didn't cause I just went off on my, on my tangent. <laughs> But, um, yeah. So, but yeah, I think, I think it's, it's like, it's good to, like, if you don't like something and a ton of other people like it, I personally, this is just my personal thing, I don't know, like, other people may disagree with me on this, but I think you should at least kind of acknowledge, like, well, a lot of people like this, like, maybe I never figured out what was going on 
what was great about it, but everyone else seems to like it, so there must be a good reason. So, yeah, I think, like, if there's a franchise that that a lot of people like and you don't like, um, maybe uh, it's good not to be too harsh on it because, um, you know, you're probably going to trigger a lot of people that really love it franchise but yeah so anyway speaking of changing random subjects um yeah luke and i saw shazam i can't really talk about it i guess luke and i will do a video on it but um i really did like the movie it was pretty cool um uh so yeah Oh my gosh! So much death! Yeah, sometimes they just try to find something you like and then target it. Like, um, I, I was with my family when I was on the way back and one of them said something like, because I'm not used to being around a lot of them, and one of them, I said something about where I was thinking about maybe going back to college for a little bit and they, they started saying bad stuff about that place and I was getting really triggered because it's, it's really hard like you know but then you like think about it you feel like you have to defend yourself so then I said well you know like I don't remember what I said but I said some something to kind of defend myself like I kind of like asked the same questions about their college and oh, <laughs> then they stopped talking but yeah it definitely is hard when you're when people do try to say things to get under your skin, and yeah, definitely. I, I kind of live in my own bubble here for YouTube. Even though I do have people with other opinions, you know, on, online, it is much harder to hear those opinions in real life from people you actually, you know, are driving in a car with or have to be in school with every day. It's a lot harder because, you know, they're physically right next to you, and you have to, you have to kind of, like, you have to be friends with them in a way because, like, you have to work with them for school or work. So it's a lot harder, like, than online. That's why I try to tell people, like, online if somebody is really... Of course, it's easier for me than most people. Like, I've, I've kind of explained this. Like, since I'm actually running the channel, it's, like, it's easier for me to say, Hey, I don't agree with that because I have the microphone and they don't. So, I mean... <laughs> But it's harder when you're in the chat and people disagree because it's, you know, you're on the same, like, footing. You're both in the chat and it, it's hard because, you know, they're, you know, you're going to probably see them week after week and, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so it is definitely hard. So, um, I'll let you guys know when I find a way to, <laughs> when I way to combat all that. It, I get, I get very triggered inside of me very easily. I get, I get triggered myself like and I have to remember like not to get triggered um usually like if somebody triggers me about something I really like I'll literally go in and I'll like research a bunch of stuff about that thing like say somebody said that like Kirby was terrible I would probably go and I would just watch a bunch of videos about how great Kirby is and all of the contributions that Kirby has made to gaming over like the last, I don't know, 30 years or something. And I would sit there and watch videos on it and then I would be like, Kirby is amazing. And then like, if I was really getting into it, I might even go buy myself a Kirby t-shirt or I'd sit there and talk to Luke for three hours about how great Kirby is. And then at the end of my conclusion, I'd be like, and that's why, <laughs> and that's why those people were wrong. And then I'd be like, I feel better. And Luke's like, oh no, I just got talked to for three hours. Uh, so yeah, that's how I handle it. Probably not the best way, but oh, I probably don't handle it the best way, but oh well. But it works for me. It works for me because everyone's personality is different, but yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you are the skin in the thumbnail. Very cute, Papa's Cruise. Oh, cool. Papa's Cruise is the uh, pigtail girl. We won! Mm. 
Luke would probably just be rewatching Avengers Endgame or work on a video in that three hours, says Spider Bat. Um, yeah, you. Well, a lot of the times Luke is listening to me, he is working on videos. Yep, very true. I don't even know if Luke has this pigtail girl in the thumbnail, but you guys have been representing her, so there you go. I might have her on my account, on my KY account. What I hate is like, I, for some reason, when I'm triggered by something, people can tell that I'm triggered because my face changes. Like, I, my, my whole demeanor and face changes if somebody has triggered me, like, in real life. Like, you guys can't see it because I'm not on camera a lot, but maybe I'll have to be on camera more. But, <laughs> but yeah, I, I get, I get physically, like, you can physically see that I'm, I'm visibly upset, like, you know, like, I don't know. I just, I get, I, yeah, I guess I get, I get, I get, uh. And then I, I usually try, and then it's like someone's like, oh, is there something wrong? Did I say something wrong? It's like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> oh, that was pretty cool, whatever Leon was doing there. Oh, yeah, of course, said Gio. Definitely. Purple hugs. Okay, your endoscopy is in two days. Okay, Brandon. I'll be uh, keeping you in my thoughts and prayers. Uh, thank you. Um, of course, Brandon. I hope everything goes well with your endoscopy. Hi, uh, Sub Zero. Hi, um, Mercy Rain. How's it going? Hi, uh, Sky Wolf. Hi, everyone. Yeah, so people can see like I'm. Vi yeah, I I don't change that much, but like my. Uh... Like, people that know me can tell that, like, I, they said something that I don't... And it could be, like, the easiest thing, like... Usually it's something, like, where people, like... Oh, uh, people are... People are super, like... Like, it could be, like, something really stupid. Like, really dumb. And I could easily get triggered by it. Especially... I guess I don't like it when people are super judgmental about things, you know? Like... Um... I don't know. It's just, like... Uh, it could be the the only the, the only thing I'm thinking of right now is like, uh, it, it could be as stupid as like people going like, um, you know like. I don't know why I wouldn't think I was thinking of this first, but I was around some people that were super like, and depending on what what class you're in in school and stuff, people get really weirded out about like, um, like. <laughs> Basically, some people, they they believe, like, they you have to take a shower in the morning. You can't take it the night before or something, like, or you're not clean enough or something, it, which I think is such a ridiculous thing. But anyway, like, if somebody would say something like that, I would get, like, super triggered because I think, like, that's so stupid. Especially because in some countries, people just shower once a week. So, actually, in America, like, showering every day is actually pretty good compared to, like, you know, some places. Those, like, people just get really weird. People get super judgmental, like, um, about things. So I definitely get triggered when people are judgmental. Like, I, I don't like people that, I don't like people that get super, like, like, I, I knew somebody that would always, if you would leave a room and the light would be on in that room, they would get really upset. Like, oh my gosh, you're killing the planet because there's a light on in the room next to you. It's like, I'm pretty sure that I'm not killing the planet because there's one light on. Like, I'm pretty sure that that's not happening. But, like, I really, I don't like it when people are really, uh, just, like, always, like, um, like, accusing people or really judgmental because you don't really, you know, like, for instance, <laughs> like, you don't know, like, for me, for me, sometimes I leave a light on for my cat. Like, I don't want my cat walking around in the dark all the time everywhere she has to go. Like, I don't know, she might bump into walls or something, so I'm just saying. I mean, I don't leave all the lights in my house on all the time, but it's kind of like, it's my, if it's, if it's my light, then I can leave it on if I want. <laughs> I guess I don't like people telling me what to do in general. I guess that's what really triggers me. If my, if my groceries were out in the pouring rain and they were getting like rain and sleet and hail on them and 
getting damaged and someone was like, you should really bring your groceries in, I would probably get triggered. I would probably get triggered thinking, like, you can't tell me what to do. I'll leave my groceries outside all day. Thank you very much. So I would, I would basically rather, like, I would basically rather be stubborn and have my own stuff be destroyed than me let somebody tell me what to do. <laughs> so, yeah. I definitely, I definitely know how it feels to, like, be upset when somebody, like, says something. Because I am the queen of that. I'm the, queen. I'm the queen of getting triggered about things. Uh, which I think is kind of, I mean, I think it's kind of fun when people, I, that's all, I'll, when when people are like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I got upset about that. It's like, no, it, you guys are fine. Because I, I mean, it's part of your personality. It's like you, you know, something, something uh, bothers you, it makes you unique of who you are. It, it's not necessarily a bad thing that it bothers you. It it sparks something in you that makes you upset because it, it's it's just something you don't like and like that's that's a good thing though. Like when I was out with <laughs> when I was out with my because it it makes us unique and it makes us different. When I was out with my um, one of my aunts for for a family gathering thing, <laughs> we went to this diner that had like this really good deal on soup like you could get soup for a dollar with your meal and everyone was like oh my gosh like this is so great this is great you get soup for a dollar and um <laughs> she was like I don't know she's like this is cream soup I don't usually do well with cream soup she's like maybe we should go somewhere else so she was like visibly upset like she didn't want the soup like <laughs> I just thought it was very cute and it showed that she was a, you know, human being because, you know, she's like this, she's got a, you know, fancy job and she's put together, she looks really nice and everything and there, here she is worrying about the soup. I just thought it was really funny to me. I mean, I didn't like laugh at her, but I thought she was sweet and cute because it's like, I basically said to her, that's okay. I said, I won't judge. I said, that's okay. Um, I won't judge you if you don't eat the soup and... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told her at the dinner table. I said, I know things that I don't like to. I, I really don't want to eat them. But, um, no, she's like, no, it, she's like, it gives me medical, medical problems if I eat it. So, like, the, basically when the soup came, it was so, it was just really bad. Like, I, it was just badly made soup. Like, it was basically rice that was, like, super fluffy with, like, cream all over it. So, it was really no broth at all in the soup. Um, it was just kind of like really clumpy, creamy rice, which honestly wasn't too bad. I actually ate my clumpy, creamy rice, uh, probably because I was super hungry from the plane. But if someone had told me that was soup, uh, I wouldn't have believed them. <laughs> but yeah, so I think, I think when, when people have their own personality and, you know, things bother them and they're upset, I think that makes you unique and fun. Um, that's what I personally believe. That's what I think. I think it makes you guys more unique and fun and gives you more of a, it makes you you, you know? It shows that you have things that, you know, you feel really strongly about and, you know, you really like this thing but you really don't like something else. It makes you a strong person and, um, I think it's really cool actually. I think it's good to have things like that. Oh, I did like an hour, three hour, uh, t topic on one random weird topic. So yeah, look, I, I really did like Shazam. I wish that, um, I, I wish that, uh, I do wish that, uh, Black Adam had made a cameo in Shazam. And I wish that Shazam had made a cameo in Black Adam because I think, I think the crossover would have been really good. Like at the time I thought, well, you know, I was super excited about the Rocks movie and I thought, well, you know, like maybe he has a point, like maybe he doesn't want to look um, you know, hokey or dumb in the, uh, the Shazam movie, but the Shazam movie was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. And, um, you know, I just, yeah, oh, let's see. So I kind of, uh, I kind of wish that they had, uh, I wish that they had, um, you know, cameoed or, or been guests in each other's movies. 
Um, I think that would have been better because I, I think they really needed to help each other because Shazam and Black Adam are both kind of like characters that people don't know a lot about. So, um, I, you know, it probably would have been better for both of them if they had cameoed in each other's movies. Like, I don't know if either Shazam or uh, Black Adam are going to continue at this point because of the DC Universe. So, uh, but I, I really did, I really did like the movie. I laughed a lot in the movie. Like, it was really funny. Um, so I think, like, that could have been added to, like, the Black Adam movie. I think, like, what the Black Adam movie was, I mean, there were some moments that were kind of funny because Black Adam was so strong and so powerful and really OP and he was really cool. Um, and then, so he kind of, like, laughed because he was, like, almost, because he was destroying everything and he was so powerful. But I think it would have been nice to have, like, a Shazam cameo or the wizard or somebody from the Shazam movie cameo in his, uh, movie. That would have been cool. Um, I think Shazam cameo in, in his movie would have been great. So, yeah. Or, like, one of the other brothers and sisters would have been kind of cute. So, um... Yeah, the, the only thing, I mean, I, I'm not going to really give, like, spoilers or anything, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know. Well, I guess I can't really talk about it then, if I'm not going to give spoilers, like, but, um, I'm still, still, Luke and I are still trying to figure out if they're ever going to get Mary Marvel, the, the Mary, um, uh, of the Marvel, uh, Shazam Bros and Sisters. Um, uh, Shazam family, um, like the oldest girl of the Shazam family. I guess in the comics, sometimes she is like, um, like a thing with, uh, Billy Batson. But, um, I don't know if they're going to end up doing that or not. Like the way that they're, I guess we'll just have to see if they end up doing that. So, I don't know if any of you guys saw Shazam, but I really did like it a lot. Um, I am excited for the Mario movie, and I really did like uh, Black Adam a lot, also. guy came right behind me and yeeted me. No. No, I'm not playing competitively right now. If that's what you're asking, if someone who's asking me that. No, I just, I just hang out. We just hang out and, uh, play with subscribers and stuff. I just basically, um, we just, like, upgrade our battle pass. So... Oh wow. Okay, you're home about the is awesome. Have I ever thought about uh you thought about playing uh competitively Mercy Rain? I mean yeah they give good prize money, don't they? Um for that. Um I mean maybe if I end up playing it a lot and just randomly getting better at the game, maybe I could eventually play competitively. I'd I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like um, Luke and I both get better as we just play. I mean, I don't think I'm very, I don't think compared to a lot of people are a lot better than me. But, I mean, if I'm playing it every week, I guess I would randomly get better. Um, I wonder how much money you could make by being like, you know, not first place, but um, 
further on down the line. But yeah, you should definitely look into playing competitively Mercy Rain. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, got yeeted over here. Alright, here is, uh... Oh, there's Geo's world! Hi, Geo! Oh, I almost got a hug emote in there. There's Geo in his awesome outfit, where he looks like a knight. Very cool. And, uh, if Luke wants, I can be, um, okay, thank you guys for the 61 likes. Appreciate that, everyone. Hey, Luke. All right. Okay, guys, so I guess we will return to the lobby and, uh, we can actually see what we unlock for the battle pass. I don't know where Luke is. I could call him on the phone. I don't know if he fell asleep. He's probably just working on something upstairs, so. Okay, guys, and uh, I guess I could uh, switch my character. I don't really know. Could randomly be Piccolo. I don't know even know if I have this girl with the pigtails. So yeah, I have a lot of the cutesy characters um, um on my account. This is actually Luke's account. So he has a lot of characters. Oh, that girl's kind of cool looking. Wow, look at that. All right, Papa's Cruz has joined. Awesome, Papa's Cruz. Wow, he's got so many uh, characters. The little fox character does look really cute. Wow, I don't have half of the characters that Luke has. There's Pigtail Girl. There's um the guy from the the uh, one of the events um and i think luke got this guy and the i don't know if he got the girl the girl henshin ranger he's really cool not henshin ranger but they're like they were attacking the the giant bear or they're like bear mech bear rangers yeah really cool actually um i don't know if it says what he is mecha strike navigator very cool i remember that was like the first event i actually did and then this is, I think, the, the bear that went with that. I'm not sure. A few different bears. That character looks kind of cool. Alright. A lot of, uh... Of, uh, unique characters here that Luke has. Oh my gosh. Christmas character, which I don't have this character. That's a really cute Christmas character there. Yeah. Doesn't look like he has the pigtail girl from the thumbnail, but maybe someday I can get her on this account. Have her on the other account. Man, this character is like really... I've never seen this person before in the eShop. Um, it's like a galaxy person. That looks really cool. Okay. Um, okay, guys. So we're still playing with Claire, and I guess I will ready up. Um, you have one of those skins? Awesome, Mercy Rain. Very cool. Oh, I do have the pigtail girl. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. Well, I'll have to look for her next time because I didn't, for some reason, I didn't see her. There's so many characters there. Well, we could, we could look through again, but uh, <laughs> I think I'm just, uh, not able to. Let's, uh, yeah, I think I just kept missing her. I guess we can try to level up some of Luke's battle pass and see how that goes. So, um, let's see, so we've got this cool, uh, 
loading screen and actually oh no I can't do that yet so we can actually get these V box get this cool falling animation um Okay, and we almost have this guy unlocked. All right, so now we have this guy available with the white, um, oh, darn it. So we actually don't have any, uh, it says we need nine stars and we only have three. So next time we get some more stars, we can unlock that guy. Okay, guys, I guess I'm ready to go. Look for the prizes for competition in Fortnite. Um, okay, um... Yeah, I'll have to uh, I'll have to check it sometime when I when I'm not like trying to uh, press for time to do one more match before the end of the stream. Um, but thank you, Mercy, Mercy Rain. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Her name is Crystal. Says Papa's Cruise. Okay, so that character's name is Crystal, the girl with the pigtails. Okay guys, so let's uh looks like everyone is ready to go. Sorry. Yep, and just remember, guys, if I do add you guys on here, um, first of all, this is a Luke's account, and so he may not have room. So we'll try the best we can. So Marvy, Darvy, um, two. Oh, all right. So Marvy, Darvy, true. I'll try to add you um, if I get a chance after this. You might have to dust your copy off. Awesome, Von Water. So close, says Mercy Rain. Marvy Darvy 2. Okay, I'll just screenshot that. And I'll try to add you after this. Um... Oh, you're fine. Um, uh, Skitty Sky, no, no worries. Alright, so this might be our final match, guys and gals. Um, I'm not sure. So I will try to add Charles and uh, and uh, and Mercy Rain if if I get a, a, a chance after this. So I did screenshot both of your names. So I will do the best I can. You guys can definitely remind me if I uh, 
forget to again. Spider-Bat, how's it going? Oh, and Spider-Bat is playing as uh, um, Tomb Raider. Awesome. Okay, uh, J-Cat, we'll see you next stream. Um, We are streaming on, on PS5 and uh, we always stream everything through ca uh, Capture Card from our PC, so um, we usually use Elgato capture card. Very cute. Yeah, we don't, uh, very cute. We're like doing this cute dance. Very cute, aww. We look like we're a um, flash mob. Um, yep, I can see you, um, later Gator, yep. <laughs> Very cute. I think the music to this um, emote is copyrighted, so that's why it doesn't have any music while I'm streaming it. All right, I'll see you on next stream, J-Cat. That's awesome. Thanks for the uh, cool dance thing, guys. Oh, cute little doghouse. A little uh, a chest of stuff in the doghouse. Oops, I guess I can't really get in there. Doors? Where I'm going? We don't need doors. Yeah, I mean, the quality looks really good compared to... I mean, I sometimes stream on a Switch, but the, uh... Oops. Yeah, the quality doesn't look as good on the Switch when you play Fortnite on Switch. Oh, wow! Um, Epic Eric is sliding on like a little blob like uh, thing. Very cool. I'm trying to get out this window. You don't like the uh, heavy shotgun? All right. Yeah, I, I like uh, rapid fire. Uh, I like rapid fire stuff better. Oh, there you go. Epic uh, Eric has the cool pigtail person and Geo's got the, the cool um, character, the knightly character. Oh, wow. I have to activate all these rewards. Aw, thank you, uh, character from Tomb Raider that I forgot the name of. Uh, Laura, Laura, Lara, Laura. 
I always remember her as Laura Croft, but I guess she's Laura. Alright. This uh, firearm is not too bad. Oh, thanks guys. Yeah, so Luke and I both, we just like hanging out on Fortnite and just uh, running around. So, you know, we're not really, I'm not really trying to do anything from particular, just kind of hanging out. <laughs> Which is weird, that's like the number one thing I do for like community streams and stuff. That's like, in real life, it's so hard for me to hang out, but I'm, I can easily do it on streams. <laughs> when, if I have people over at my house friends over I'm, I'm always like oh what do you guys want to do I want to like make a list of things to do should we get a pizza then watch a movie then do this and they're just like no I just want to hang out it's like oh okay I'm just thinking like what does that mean <laughs> so yeah it's kind of what I do on Fortnite just hang out do whatever whatever comes natural drive in a truck do emotes have a have one round where we're all spider-man I don't know just whatever we feel like doing that day. Um, we could switch in between games while streaming, but it doesn't really, it's not really a good thing for a stream. Like, um, it's not like Twitch streaming. Uh, Twitch streaming, you could stream three games at night. Um, we used to do that. But um, it doesn't work that way for YouTube very well. Um, people want to know what the game is. They want to know what the purpose of the stream is. They want to know how long the stream will be. You really shouldn't stream on YouTube more than an hour and a half or two hours at the most. Um, because you will just lose, like, YouTube is a different um, animal than a Twitch. So... Uh, you can stream for five to seven hours on Twitch. I've done it a lot, um, you know, and just stream all day and just hang out with people because they'll come in and out. Uh, YouTube uh, people like to come in at the beginning of the stream and they like to leave at the end of the stream. They want to be there for the whole stream. Um, so you usually want to make sure you, you stream an hour and a half to two hours. So that's why all our streams are uh, about two hours long. So. We'll have three streams after this, so six, um, eight, and ten. We'll do three streams after this, which is our main streams for the day. So, yeah. so um, we have definitely tried. I, I definitely tried. I used to do members appreciation stream where I would stream two or three games for members, and I would have members rounds and all those. Um, number one, uh, it. Since I have three other streams later that night, um, it was very exhausting and I couldn't really do that since I already had so many of the streams to do three streams later after that. Um, and number two, um, it just went very, I mean, having like a special thing once a month where you do like three streams, three games in a stream, that is okay. But just like a regular stream um, randomly where you do a couple different games, that won't really work because people would be like, what the heck? Uh, they won't really understand that, what's happening at all. So, yeah, it's better to do just one, uh, one game per stream. You can definitely switch out, like, I, if I was doing all the games on PlayStation, it is harder on a capture card to do, like, going from PlayStation to Switch, or PlayStation to Xbox. It would be harder. Sometimes the capture card may stop working if you switch the game, if you switch the system. Like, it will just go blank, and then your entire stream, you're going to have to push the be right back button. And then you're going to have to, like, restart the whole thing. So, yeah, I don't, you know, but if you're going, like, you can actually switch one, if you have a, one game on one Switch and another game on another Switch, you can pretty easily switch Switches. Like, we have two Switches. You could take one Switch out of the cradle and then put another Switch in there. 90% of the time it will work. Sometimes it won't work. Sometimes uh, it will kind of like shut off. Like the capture card will go crazy. So, yeah. But if it's all on the same system, like you can usually stream several different games. 
um, really easily. Like if, if you're playing all on PlayStation and all the games are you have on your PlayStation, you can easily switch between games on one stream if you wanted to. Um, hi Later Gator, how's it going? Great to see you, hope you're doing well. Oh, thanks guys. So this will probably be the last, um, we've got Geo here and uh, a bunch of people uh, Epic Eric and uh, Dozen R and uh, everyone. Spider Bat. And a uh, High Cross Fighter, Mercy Rain, Later Gator, Iron Spider, Halo of Rainbows, and everyone. Yeah, so. Yeah, I, I just came back from a long time um, out. Um, I was out with family for a while, and uh, so yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get back into uh, um, uh, streaming mode, which I actually think is better. I think I do better when I haven't been streaming for a while, because I'm just more natural. Um, when I've been streaming, when I've been streaming every day for a long time, I feel like that's when I kind of like get stuck in a rut so it's actually good for me to not but um yeah people are used to people might be used to me uh answering the chat more and stuff like that but um when I've when I've actually been out in the real world for a little bit I have more things to talk about which is actually good good for me <laughs> um it, it's better if I get out more actually <laughs> Yeah, I'm finally getting the, it took me a long time to, to get the, uh, the thing for, uh, like, the way that you build forts in PlayStation. Because I was really good at building in, uh, on the Switch, and I thought, oh my gosh, there's no way I can build for PlayStation. It's way too hard because, it, like, the, the building mechanic is much different. Yeah, mainly what I do is I like to build a forts. Like, I love building forts. Like, I just, I like building things, so. Oops. Am I excited for Splatfest? Um, yeah, I am excited for it. Definitely. So, Splatfest, I believe, is this weekend. So that's pretty exciting. And uh, later Gator has got his Nessie shirt on. I've got my Nessie shirt on. We're ready to go. All right, great job everyone. Awesome job guys, victory royale. And look at that, you guys helped Luke uh, upgrade his battle pass. Great job, everybody. You've got your Nessie shirt on, too. Awesome, Epic Eric. Okay. <laughs> I think that's Dozen R. Let's see who we've got here. Okay, we've got Dozen R, who played with me from the beginning. Uh, Miguel... Uh, Midnight, Knuckles, Papa's Cruise has been here. Hey, Papa's, how's it going? Uh, Geo's World, Epic Eric, and Spider Bat. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out with me. Um, I heart you guys. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys and gals. Oh, let's add the two people here that I didn't get to add last time. Uh, uh, let's add them real quick and so they can play next time. So we'll do that really quick on the air. I can't always do this because I never know what, um,
Marvy Darvy one. All right, so I'll try to add you guys here, and if it doesn't work, then uh, okay. There's Marvy Darvy too. So I don't know why that's not working. I found Marvy Darvy too. Um, you guys can always add me. It's K Wing's uh K Wing reviews. So um. So I couldn't find Marvy Darby one. Let's try to find uh, the other one. But yeah, it'll be good for me. So I'll add this Nightwing 8305. All right, guys. So I'll just do that really quick. But um, I do have to kind of get going. Okay. Okay, guys and gals. Let's see. Let's try to add Nightwing 8305. And thank you. That was very sweet of you to name yourself after Luke's uh, channel. Okay, guys. Looks like we've got Char uh, Charles Demers. And I tried adding Marvy Darvey, but I don't know why it didn't work. Okay, guys. Um, okay, guys. So, uh, looks like we got some upgrades on the Battle Pass. Oh, actually, look at this, guys. We are able to unlock the uh, character over here on the Battle Pass. So, oh, no, we're not. Okay, we have only eight. One away. Okay, guys and gals, um, thanks so much for hanging out and uh, watching the stream. Appreciate that so much. Um, and we will be doing um, Dragon Ball Revenge of Piccolo Part 3 and 4 today on King's Let's Play. So each stream will be two hours, and then we have about 15 to 30 minute break between streams. So we'll be streaming for the next five hours uh, Dragon Ball Revenge of Piccolo. And make sure you guys stop by the channel uh, and uh, come by for those streams because they'll be a lot of fun. All right, guys and gals, thanks for hanging out with us. And we'll see you guys in about uh, 20 minutes for Dragon Ball Revenge of Piccolo. God bless. Happy gaming. See ya. Thanks for playing with me, all.